Guys, if you don't own this book, you're lacking a major tool in your pole vault toolbox. I have two. Welcome to the pole vault vlog where we talk everything. Wait for it. Pole vault. Last week somebody said, hey Sean, I, I sure wish you could do that commercial thing you did this week because it was awesome. You should do it for the next vlog. So commercial time, commercial time. Everybody loves commercial time. Guys, yeah. poles suck to carry around, right? Yeah. They hurt your shoulders. They make you look dumb. And you know, you could damage your poles if you drop them. Yeah. You are in luck because Bruce Caldwell created Rockback Pole Vault Bags to fix all of these problems we just talked about. They'll save your shoulders and protect your poles and make you look awesome. But Sean, where do I buy one? Well, go to VS Athletics, of course. Yeah. While you're there, you might as well buy 50 poles, some shoes, chalk, crossbars, and three pole vault pits. Because you know, Christmas is coming up because people start talking about Christmas right after Halloween. And pole vault pits would make a pretty slick stocking stuffer if you can find one that big. That was way easier. I didn't even have to edit or do anything. I just got to copy and paste. I always forget to mention this too, but VS Athletics also has this incredible deal where if you buy three poles, you get one free all year round. I would look into that if you like pole vault poles and free ones. Oh yeah, but you have to use my discount codes guys because then I get credit for helping sell those things and then I get some monies so I can keep making these or else I have to get a real job. I'm teetering on that line. <laughs> all right, so let's start talking about all the reason you guys are here is to review this book. I've been wanting to review this book for years, but I haven't for one little reason, which I will present you with this caution before we start. Caution, the pole vault is a lot like religion and politics. Everyone has an opinion and everyone thinks everyone else's is wrong. The Petrov Russian model is only one of many ways to pole vault. With that said, learning about every religion and political party gives you a much more well-rounded view of what's really going on. So let's do this. Here's what I love about the book. You will not find a more comprehensive book for coaches and athletes. There's stuff in here about the physics and the science of the pole vault, the technique of the pole vault, strategy for vaulting higher, strategy for competing better. Do you like charts? Cause there's charts in here too. What about pictures? There's a lot of picture, pictures in there too. There's, there's even a picture of my good friend Bubba Sparks in there. He's, he's right there. Bubba Sparks is in a book. So we all win. Everyone gets a little bit of something. It's also full of amazing drills for coaches and athletes. Anyone related to pole vault, it's got something for everybody. To break it down, I will say this one more time, it is the best pole vault book out there right now. You will not find anything better. But here's what bothers me about the book still and why it took me so long to do that, to create this review. This book shaped my pole vault philosophy. This is the Petrov model. This is the Russian Australian Petrov model. It's how I was coached in college and I started my coaching career with this mentality. I drank the juice, no other model could compare. If somebody didn't jump, it was wrong. This was the only, this, that's how I did it. That is until in grad school, I decided to do my thesis on the pole vault takeoff. Here was my plan. If you read this book, this one, this one, they talk a lot about the free takeoff. And so I spent three years of grad school writing this book. I know it doesn't look like much, but it took a long time, guys. Trying to prove that the free takeoff was real and that it works and that it's effective. My goal was to prove this book right because there wasn't any scientific research on it yet. Long story short, the free takeoff isn't that important. So you can understand my frustration when I found this out trying to help the book and the model itself and be a proponent of it and find out that it just wasn't true. But there was a kink in the armor and then I started looking for other kinks. And I found this one, there's a part in here where they talk about narrow grip. They're very narrow grip and I've made a video on this. I found out that different grips are different for different types of people. You can check that video out right up here someplace. They also talk about you need to be outside with your takeoff step. Also, I've made a whole nother video on that as well, being a cruncher versus a jumper. It depends. There's too many variables in this event to put everybody into one model. So not everyone's gonna work with this model. My last two little issues with this book are is the training philosophies and modalities, they're not good either. They're based on what Bubka did in the 70s and 80s and science has advanced since then and we found better ways. Running miles and miles for a pole vaulter, stupid. And just because Sergei Bubka did it doesn't mean you should do it 
either. You're not Sergey Bobko. And the last little thing is, the guy who wrote this book, Alan Launder, he died a few years ago, and so there won't be any more updates to this book, which is unfortunate, because it is awesome, and this is the second edition of it. So, all this new information won't be put into this into future books that I am aware of. With all of that said, you would be absolutely insane not to have this book in your pole vault coach's toolbox or as an athlete. I got it first as an athlete and it changed the way I looked at this event. And then as a coach, I still go back to it just to tie things together. But within every model and learning different models, you might uncover some hidden treasures about the pole vault and tie some connections that no one else has and that's how the sport grows. It did that for me and I owe a lot of my success because of this. Check it out. Guys, there's links to this book in the description below. If you get it on Amazon, that helps me out. If you find someplace else that I didn't send you, it doesn't help me out. <laughs> description, awesome, it would help me out a bunch. Let's review some videos. All right, this first video is from Brandon, and Brandon, in his email, he asked me 12.6 the next meet, then I gradually started getting lower and lower down to 11.6. Do you have any tips to making sure that you keep on improving heights throughout the season? You have to have some kind of a plan, guys. Um, so I gave him three options. I was like, what are you doing at practice to make you jump higher? Or are you just showing up to practice to jump? Is there a plan? Two, what are you doing off the runway? Are you doing anything off the runway that's gonna help you on the runway? Whether it's pole runs, weight training, sprint training, plyometrics, pole carries, high bar drills, things like that. And three, what are you doing at your meets to make sure you are in the best physically fit to reach optimal performance? What are you doing to do that? And if you're not focusing on those things, it's gonna be really hard to improve every week. So start there. Technique wise, we talk just before I go, I love your jump. Let me know if some of those things I sent you in the email is gonna help you out. If you're a 13 plus foot jumper, just haven't done it yet. I'll be pushing 14 this year, I think. Sick jumps, thanks for sending a video in, man. All right, next video is from Stan the Man. Let's take a peek here. Ooh, I like it, man. Really, I think the biggest bang for your buck is if you just iron that plant out. It's kind of wonking off to the side and up and around. I think you want straight lines right from your hip straight line into that one o'clock position. I'll put a video right here to help you, or maybe it's on this side, to help you out with that. And you're gonna be rolling. It's like as soon as you hit the pole, it's just smashing you. And I think if we can plant up and forward and keep everything going up and forward, it'll create space and space creates energy and energy creates higher jumps and then higher jumps make you happy. And oh, it's all about being happy. Not really, but dude, you're on it, man. Just let's iron out that plant. Love it. All right, last but not least, this comes from my buddy Glenn Colvis down in Texas. This is Jacob. Uh, he sent me one question. He said Jacob had one question was why is he why is he struggling to get upside down, not coming off the top of the pole nearly as well? Um, I see a couple things that might be able to help. And but guys, let's look at this plant and takeoff. It's very Renault. That's that's what the world record holder does. Awesome. You don't see that every day. I used to try and put my quads on my hands. If you can see like right here in this frame, he is totally putting his hands on his shoes. I think if he swung his quads up to his hands and did some of that swunch motion stuff I've been talking about in the past, he's gonna blow that thing. He'll be on top of the pole sooner, his hips will be higher, and then he won't get stuck in that little bucket. So swing your quads up to your hands and that makes your center of gravity go up higher so you're on top of the bend and then fling you up into the air and then fun, 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 fun. That made me sick doing that with my head. But guys, thanks for sending videos. I'll reset the counter, right? Meow. Two things before I go. A couple people sent videos to get them reviewed uh, into the pool, uh, but they did not want their videos to be in the vlog. That's not what those are for. If you guys want your videos reviewed and you don't wanna be in the vlog, I will tell you right now, there's no way I'm gonna look at those. The reason for those pools is so they can be in the vlog. So. If you don't wanna be in the vlog, but you want your video reviewed, $5 option is there, and I will be happy to take a look. But this pool is for the people who maybe can't afford $5. If you don't wanna make the vlog, please do not take up a space for somebody else who totally would want to be in the vlog and get their video reviewed. Guys, there's more than one way to pole vault. Try what works best for you. Get that book, let me know what you think, and um, some really cool, exciting stuff is coming up that I hope to have done 
by Black Friday. Deals and awesomeness is coming soon. Life is meant to be experienced, and curiosity will get you there. Bye. Get on bigger sticks, bigger sticks. They throw you higher. But to get on those, you got to have desire. Technique is the key to success. Add speed and strength, and you can be the best with your high plan. And your bicep in your ear. Keep your pole moving, and you will have no fear with your knee drive.